you want to make direct sales with PayPal, these are the steps to take. And first, let's talk about uploading your ebook files to your website or blog. For all the sales that I've made from my websites, PDF files represent more than 90% of the downloads that customers have preferred. Remember that you won't have a separate cover image, so it's important to include the cover image within your document. Having an EPUB file is a really good idea too. And you can also include a cover image for your EPUB file through Caliber. If you need to refresh on how to do that, just revisit the Caliber chapter. Mobi files are really up to you. Kindle owners are the main people who would read a Mobi file. And they are absolutely loyal Amazon shoppers. So if you want to include a Mobi file, that's fine, but it's really not important. One of the first things to do is to add a cover image to your document and then save it as a PDF file. So just go to the Insert tab and let's add an image. And here's our cover. And let's make the size a little bigger, kind of a full page size. Uh, eight inches in height is probably pretty good. And then you should add a page break at the end of it, just so the next stuff comes out on the next page. OK, and once that's all in place, we can save this as a PDF document. So we're going to go to Save As, and we're going to choose PDF File. And I recommend not having any spaces in between the words. And if you want, you can make all the different words in capital letters so it's easier to read. This is actually going to help during the downloading part when we have the files at the website. So that's a good way to save it, and we'll click Save. And of course, you can also make an EPUB version of this as well. Now you'll want to upload those files to your website, and there are many different possibilities of websites, so I'm just going to list a few here. You could have something that looks like this, which is basically the cPanel of your web hosting. Or you could have something that looks like this, where you have a site manager and a file manager. Or you might have a WordPress blog or something that has a media area in the dashboard uh, where you can add to the library. Often the keywords are going to be either File Manager or Library. So in cPanel, for example, just click on File Manager. And then you can upload your documents. And we'll just browse the PDF, for example. There it is. And once it's finished, you can go back to your dashboard. And you should be able to scroll through your files and ultimately find it. And here it is. And this would be the end of the URL. It would be yourwebsite.com or dot whatever forward slash and then the name of this file. So we could actually go to my website, for example, just to see that. So up here in the URL, I'll just type out the name of that website. It's the littleuniverse.com. And now we'll type in forward slash, and then I'll just paste in the rest of the link and enter. And this will actually be the PDF. Now this would be great if we only had one file format to give to people. We could actually send them here after purchase. But if you also have EPUB and stuff, we're going to talk about creating a download page that has all of these things. For now, let's do this example at another couple of places, just so you have a good feel for it. At many other websites, you'll have something called File Manager. And you can just upload the file, browse it. There it is. Upload. And of course, you could do this with EPUB as well. And then if you scroll down, you should be able to find that file. There it is right there. And this is another example of the website's URL, forward slash, and then the name of the file. 
and that's why I recommend not having any space in between the letters. If you have something like a WordPress blog, you may have to add it through your media, and so either in your library or Add New, and select the files, and once it's uploaded, just click on the Edit button, and there's the file's URL. Uh, let me scroll through to the right so you can see all of it. There's the name of the file. And so if we copy this, Control A to highlight it, Control C to copy it, and paste it in a new tab. Here's a new tab. I'll paste it in there and enter. And so again, that's going to go to the file from this website. So no matter what your website or blog is, there should be a way to upload at least the PDF file and hopefully the EPUB file as well. So definitely have a PDF file. Probably have an EPUB file, although free WordPress.com blogs don't support EPUB format at the moment. Mobi files are really up to you. Next, we're going to talk about creating download pages for customers to find those files.